I am going to learn to thrive in the gig economy. You want to learn too? This is my weekly recap of what I've done so far as far as building a gig career. By the way, you can see I'm shooting this in a different room than last week because the feedback I got was that last week's background was too distracting. Fortunately, I have found that every room in my house has stuff all over the walls. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just shoot uh, a video in front of every wall in my house, and then we can just put it up for a vote. If you remember, I was going to focus on three areas this year. One was freelance editing. The other was real estate. And the third was online selling. I was able to complete a few editing projects this week. And I think that it's going to grow more. I've been, last week, I went to a Chamber of Commerce event locally, and I handed out my business card and met people. And it was an interesting experience because I've just been sitting at a desk for the last 19 years. I haven't had to go out and drum up business. So going out and actually talking to people and marketing myself is something new. What was interesting is I met a woman who was just starting a consulting firm. She said, yeah, the nice thing about these networking events is everybody knows you're there to the network, so it's, it takes the pressure off. Remind me a little bit about what I think a singles meetup would be, not that I know about any of those. Uh, let me know if you think it's about the same. In fact, tonight I'm going to another uh, event, five Chamber of Commerce's are meet, meeting. So it'll be over 250 people there. So I, I'm going to show up with my business cards in one hand, and my real estate cards in the other hand, and try to get my name out there. Speaking of real estate, I joined Wiker, and I'm learning a lot. I went on a few caravans where I went around and looked at the open houses that are on the market, and that's been kind of interesting. I'm very lucky. My mentor is a very experienced, very sharp uh, real estate agent. She's given me a lot of good advice. I feel like I want to run. And she's been saying, no, no, you got to walk first. You got to walk first. Get up to speed. This is a long-term project, not a short one. And I think that's good advice, really. By the way, one thing she did insist is that I hand out my business card to everybody I meet. Don't be surprised when I approach you with business cards. As far as my online selling, I actually have had a pretty good week. I've sold about 30 items in my eBay and Amazon stores. Profit was about $250. It's pretty good beer money. I can't live on it, but it's pretty good beer money. And I'm hoping to expand that as the time goes by. That's really the three areas that I'm focusing on now. I may be able to expand into other things. I just don't know. And we'll see how that works. One thing that I am going to work on is my time management skills. What I found is that I'm being pulled in different directions. I'm not really sure where to put my priorities. The manager at Weikert told me one of the first things I should do is go out and get a daily agenda planner and mark out all my time. So I've actually ordered one on, on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in, in getting one as well. It's really important if you're working for yourself that you understand exactly where your time is being spent. I think that's about all I've got right now, but if you if you have any advice for me on what I can be doing in the next week or so to help build my big uh, career, I'd really appreciate it. Leave it in the comments down below. If you're enjoying this video, please like it and subscribe, and I look forward to talking to you in the next one.